You want to visualize your ideal. Secondly, <laughs> it's too much. Hi guys, we are Minimal Millennials. I'm Aubrey. I'm Christian. And we are going to talk to you today about how we define minimalism and how it plays out in our very normal, very real lives. We both work full-time jobs. Aubrey's finishing up her bachelor's degree right now, Yay. finally. Um, and so we have really busy schedules. We have a lot of clutter in our lives. We are not hippies. We don't do yoga every morning as much as we wish we did. We don't <laughs> juice all of our foods. Uh, we're really normal people living in a really busy city with a lot of clutter in our lives. So minimalism for us has been a way to declutter, mm -hmm. to kind of de-stress. It's taken a lot of the noise out of our lives, I guess, and really given us a lot of clarity and peace and mm -hmm. freedom. So we're going to share with you our system of how to apply minimalism to every single area mm -hmm. of your life, whether that's your wardrobe or your kitchen or your car or whatever it is, and it's worked for us amazingly well. Amazingly well, yeah. So here it is. The very first and most fundamental step, this is where we started, visualize exactly what you want in a wardrobe, in a living room, in a kitchen, in a bathroom, really whatever it is, make a list and write down exactly what your ideal of that would be. So for us, it was a wardrobe is where we started. We wrote out every single shirt, pair of pants, dress, whatever it was that we would want. We knew the colors, we knew the sizes, we knew exactly what we were looking for. That way we knew what success looked like once we got there. So once you have your ideal, now it's time to get rid of things that aren't on your list. And this is the hardest part for me because if somebody's bought us something or if we've spent money on something, I always feel guilty about getting rid of it. But if you don't like it, it's okay to not like it and to get rid of it. <laughs> so if it's not on your list, just throw it away. Yep. Okay, now that you've cleaned out, it is time to buy the rest of your list. You need to be willing to spend money here on buying quality objects. This is really hard for me because I hate spending money on things, especially clothes. But this goes for your wardrobe, it goes for your living room or kitchen. You need to buy nice things that you really enjoy because ideally you're going to be using these things every day or at least every week or you should have cleaned them out in the cleaning out phase. You don't want to be buying things that you aren't going to enjoy on a daily basis. So only buy things you really like, be willing to spend more money on quality and be willing to walk away from a deal if need be if it's not something that's on your list. Lastly, choose when you're going to be cleaning out regularly. So this can be different for different areas of life. So for us, um, for our wardrobe, that's probably once a quarter and for the rest of our house, it's probably like twice a year. Mm -hmm. So to summarize the whole thing, first of all, visualize your ideal. Secondly, throw away anything that's not part of that list. Thirdly, be willing to spend money on things that are on the list. And finally, do it regularly. Do the whole process every three to six months. Comment below, let us know what you do to keep your life minimal or tweet at us at Minimal Millennials. And stay tuned because we're going to have more coming soon. Sneak peek. Yep. We bought a van. We're going to be living in it soon. And we'll be talking about that. We're pretty psyched. Pretty stoked. We're going to become really hippie and really. No. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, can I do my outro? Do your outro. <laughs> Minimal millennials out! Uh.